Hi, I'm Hilary Talbot, acupuncture physician and clinical herbalist, coming to you today from St. Petersburg, Florida. Today we will be discussing a technique called high touch acupressure. Now this is an old uh, Chinese medicine technique that's been passed down through certain lineage. Um, and there's different variations and different treatment protocols. So I'm going to show you a simple one that you can do on yourself today. And it's pretty auto-regulating. And it involves some um, holding of the points. And there's about nine or 10 points. And you're going to want to hold each one for about a minute. So to do this, you want to set aside about 10 minutes for yourself. And this is um, great for quieting the mind and kind of a, a gentle, energizing feeling after you're done. So what you would do is you would actually start by bringing your right hand up to the vertex of the head and holding a point that we call do 20. And just with gentle pressure, with you can use all four fingers, just kind of holding this point here until you begin, at least until you begin to feel a, a slight pulsating uh, effect at the point. Now this will be different for all of us, but approximately about one minute is usually enough in order to feel this. So once we have this point, we're going to um, continue holding it. And then with your other hand, you're going to come to the second point, which is here in between the eyebrows, an extra point we call yin tong. And you're just going to hold this point while holding the point on the top of the head. And again, there's no uh, pressure or motion or anything that needs to happen. You're quietly trying to listen to your body and kind of direct your energy up into this point. And this entire treatment has a pretty auto-regulating effect on the energy of your body. All right, perfect. So once we have that pulsating sensation there, we're going to move on to the next point. Again, all the while holding the, the point at the top of the head. The second point is actually located at the tip of the nose. So we're going to use just the finger tip and kind of gently clue in here until we find the pulsating sensation come to meet our finger. Great. And once that happens, we're actually going to move down into uh, this little V here located at the bottom of our neck. And this point is on the Ren channel. All these are actually on the Ren and Du channels. And this is kind of a sensitive area because there's no bone right there. It's right in between where the, the collarbones come together, the top of the sternum. And so again, just gently keeping your finger there, all the while holding this point at the top of the head. Now, you should notice that this, the energy in your hand at the point at the top of the head that you're holding is kind of growing, getting stronger and stronger as you lightly kind of distribute it down the center line of the body. Great. Now that we have the pulsating sensation there, we're going to move to a point called REN17, and that is located on the sternum right in between the breasts. Now for guys, it's really easy to locate because you're just going to locate it right in between the nipples. And this treatment is nice because it can be done fully clothed. You still will feel the pulsating effect of the point even with clothes on. Great. Once we have the pulsating effect there, still holding the point at the top of the head, we move down to where the sternum comes together, where the sternum and the ribs come together. So in order to find this, just kind of run your fingers up one side of the ribs until you come to the point where they meet together. And you can hold that point with a couple, couple fingertips in order to elicit a bigger response. Now once we have that point, pulsating, still holding the point on the top of the head. We're going to make our way down to the belly button or the navel. Once we find the navel, what I like to do is actually put all five fingers together and press just slightly in the middle of the belly button. And you can feel the umbilical pulse here. If you give it a second, it'll come up. And this is one of the easier points to actually feel the pulsating sensation. Now once you've got the pulsating sensation there, we're going to go to the top of the pubic bone. Now to find your own pubic bone, you're just going to use the firm side of your hand 
and you're going to press down in that region until you feel the high point of the pubic bone. And then you're going to just keep your fingers right here, still holding the point at the top of the head. Now after you start to feel the pulsating sensation here at the pubic bone, you're going to leave your hand there and you're going to move your hand from the top of the head and actually come down to the coccyx, which is the tailbone. So I'm just going to slide my hand under here. There we go. And hold both of these. And this should have a nice centering effect until you feel a pulsating sensation in both hands. Once you get that, you can go ahead and release both hands. And you want to press your fingertips together to kind of release any energy, especially if you're doing this on somebody else other than yourself. And it's also helpful to wash your hands afterwards, kind of a metaphorical washing of somebody else's energy after you're balancing it. I'm Hilary Talbot, and that was high-touch acupressure.